everybody, my name is Katja, and guys, welcome back to Miss Guest Squad, the geeky and let's play talk show that's all about you guys guessed it, geeky goodness and video games. Today, guys, today, we are venturing back to meet my son, Lucas the Spider. Yes, as you guys know, my son Lucas is a cherub. He is adorable, but he's also a spider. And as you guys do know, I don't like spiders. There was recently a spider right outside my door. You know, it's like when on the East Coast you get a lot of spiders. You get one of those really big, hairy types of spiders. And it was right on, um, it was right by my door, like literally right there. And it was on like the lamp post that we have. Like it's like this little lamp that we have outside. Jess, he was just chilling there. He was just hanging there. He was like, "Yo, man, I'm a spider. I'm just gonna chillax here. Everything's cool." And then he spins this huge web. Now. As I know, spiders are good for nature. Spiders, you know, I just dropped my dang thing. <laughs> spiders are good for nature. Spiders take care of a lot of, like, the poisonous bugs out there that may hurt us. But at the same time, they're kind of not fun if they land on you. And I've had many spiders land on me before. Hopefully there's none in my room today, because if there is, I'm not going to be handling it. But anyway, guys, today we're reacting to the cutest spider in the world, and that is Lucas the Spider. And as you guys do know, last time on a reaction for Lucas the Spider, this happened. Hi. My name's Lucas. Oh. I have too many eyeballs. I look around with a lot of eyeballs. Oh my god. So that was the first time I've ever seen him. He's absolutely adorable, and I see that he is still producing some videos on YouTube. He is one of my favorite YouTubers, and he's one of the best YouTubers out there because, uh, he might be the only YouTuber that's actually a spider. So anyway, guys, let's continue our journey of reacting to Lucas the Spider, and usually there will be a ton of Lucas the Spider content on Miss Cat Squad, so I could talk about my son Lucas, but also I can appreciate the goodness that is reacting to the adorable Lucas and his content, because, you know, he's... He's, he may be, he's like, I think he might be the only YouTuber that's out there that's actually a spider. So, there's a lot to talk about this and how this is also going to teach kids to love spiders. To know that they are not always harmful and that they do help. And also, they can be kind of cute. That they actually can be cute. So, let's get reacting. Hi, I wanted to My start boy. I hope you like it. Of course, I will. Mama will. The itchy bitchy Lucas built this just for you. <laughs> Sticks, twigs, webbing. Oh my god, did he build his own harp? You're probably wondering how we learned to sing. Well, it's not important. Watch me play this thing. <laughs> Talented. My boy's got talent. Oh, oh no. No, stop. Come no. back. They stole his oh, harp. No, I worked so hard on them. Oh no. I'm gonna go make another one. No, I wanna buy one for you, son. He has to go make another one. First of all, he loses his harp, okay? As we see, he lost his harp. Secondly, okay, SpongeBob's falling. Thirdly, um, who is that bird to think that he could just steal my son's harp? Like, does he think that he could just steal it and be like, oh, what? Like, that is not okay for me. I mean, literally, he's probably spent hours creating that harp for himself. But let's talk about that video before moving on to the next one with my son, Lucas the Spider. First off, that was adorableness at its finest. Like, did you see that? Did you see how adorable that was? Like, he was, in a way, like, I think he, like he said he created that little harp for himself. So that basically means that this boy, he'd be literally crafting his own dang harp. I mean, he takes it from, like, twigs or whatever, and then gets a little bit of strings and puts it together, bada-bing, bada-boom. But he's small, and he has, like, what? Like, eight arms? So, I mean, maybe it's easier for him to create his own little harp, whether that it would be with us. But who does that bird think it is? Who does that bird think it is to be swiping my son Lucas's harp? Like, I mean, he spent hard on that, and all he wants to do is he wants to be a singer. He wants to be, like, a performance person. Like, he wants to produce music. Just let the boy live. Let the boy live. So whoever that bird is, if, there's a, if, the, if there is a, like, a revenge arc with Lucas versus the bird, I want to see that. Why? Because he deserves revenge. Nobody be stealing my son's stuff. Nobody. So let's keep going, guys. That was adorable. His, his singing, though, on point. On point. Let's go to Lucas the Spider, Giant Spider. My boy's gonna be giant. Let's see what it's about. Hi! You wouldn't believe what I just found. Come on! Okay! He wants to show us something. What a village filled oh. with tidy wooden oh. people. Oh! Ooh. Oh hi. my god. Oh, hi! 
I Hi. just was passing by. Hey there, Wait, Bob. How is the mortgage? Holly Frank, I like your cat. People <gasps> think I'm scary, but I wouldn't hurt a <laughs> Oops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sorry. It's okay. We all make mistakes. That's what matters. We all make mistakes. Okay, guys. Let's talk about this. First of all, do you remember when you were younger and you would play giant? Like, I, I still do this today. When you were younger and then you would, like, set up your toys or whatever. And then you'd be like, oh, if you five foot with them, I'm a giant. I'm gonna come on, like, take off your thumb and rip it off and stomp on all these people. And, like, you have, like, I, I for one, loved uh, Playmobil when I was younger. If you don't know what Playmobil is, you better do a Google search right now. But Playmobil was, like, you got, like, minuscule little, um, toys. And they, they have, like, arms that look like this. And you're like, meh. But it was all these toys that we did have. It was, um, it was a lot of fun to play with. Because even my mom, when she was younger, she had a lot of uh, Playmobil toys. She had a lot of toys that, um, a lot of you guys might be remembering. Because, again, Miss Cat Squad is all ages, so we might have people from 5 years old to 50 years old on this channel. Hey, but let's talk about this. Lucas the Spider. He is adorable to be able to even do that. Like, if you pretend to be a giant, I, for one, love doing that even myself now. When I have, like, little toys scattered around the floor, I'm like, hey... Who feels like she's a giant now, even though despite the fact that I am like, I think I'm, yeah, I'm 4'10", I'm 4'10", 4'11", that is my height. So when I, when I see other people and I'm like looking up, I'm like, hey, how you doing? How's the weather up there? I feel as if I could be tall because, uh, there's little toys on the floor and I could be like, hey, I'm gonna feed five to four thumb, you out of that. But, <laughs> but, um, it's, it kind of shows us that, like, you know, he may be small, but, you know, he's really big and he has a big heart. And also, that he could pretend to be bigger. He could pretend to be that giant. But he also said he, when he was sorry, I'm like, oh, there's nothing to say sorry about, Lucas. There's nothing to say sorry. Because, yes, this, there may be toys scattered ar around and somebody's gonna be cleaning that up. Which I wonder who owns Lucas. Or does Lucas own himself? Maybe he just owns himself, but... Think about when you're a kid and then you like make a mess. What do you do? You say things like, "Oh, I'm sorry," or you you know you let your younger siblings take the blame for it. <laughs> but I love that. That was durable because um, it reminded me of my Playmobil when I was growing up. The toys, what they look like, and also there was a little windmill. So all the little hard work that goes into creating these little animations are absolutely adorable because there's a windmill and it falls. So it kind of represents like those really big scary movies where it's like you got the big guy coming out of nowhere where, like, you know, Godzilla or somebody knocking things down, or King Kong or something, and they're knocking things out of the way. And Lucas the Spider, imagine if he was huge. Imagine if he was actually a giant. Or if we go to Attack on Titan and we talk about, like, the anime and things. If you love the, if you love the anime, Attack on Titan as much as I do, let me know, because I love it. Finest quality. Finest quality of anime right there. But it reminded me of how... When you're, when, it's like when you got these giants, okay? You got these big giants, and they come out of nowhere. And, like, you see the windmill all the time. There's always a windmill when it has to do with, like, giants. So that was a great touch to add there. It kind of showed us it was like, it was a small town. And here is our adorable giant, Lucas, trying to destroy everyone within that small town. So that was a nice touch there. Because I, for one, anything that I do, like, look like, you know, uh, watch, read, or... Actually, yeah, that's the only two things we do. Watch or read. <laughs> or do play. There's usually a windmill that always gets hurt. And it's like, poor windmill. It supplied us with power. It supplied us with everything that we needed. Rest in peace, windmill. Hashtag rest in peace. Let's keep going. Now we're moving on to Lucas the Spider nap time. So... Uh, before we go in, into this, who for one raise of hands right now loves nap time? I for one love taking me some naps. I gotta start taking naps more often because my sleep schedule is all crazed up. Because literally I could get to sleep at one hour and then wake up the next and then be like, and then I'm like, oh, I didn't get any, and I didn't get any sleep at all. But yeah, I gotta get better at taking naps because naps make us rejuvenated. It's okay to take breaks as much as it is to take naps. So take those naps and feel like you are completely rejuvenated and re-spirited and rekindled to create and keep on doing your awesome work. Yeah, I gotta get better at taking naps. So maybe I'll learn through this video by being able to take the naps because, uh, Lucas the Spider, he is a great teacher. He teaches us. He, my son knows how to teach mama here. He teaches us what to do. So let's keep going. <gasps> They're kitties. I'm looking for a new place to sleep. It has to be someplace cozy. Yes, of course. Curl on my uh -huh. 
and go fast to sleep. Yay! Oh. It smells nice. Oh my god! Ow, too hot, too hot! Oh. No, no! Dude, no, too no. Smart. Yeah. I think somebody already lives here. Hey, my heart! Yes! Oh, this looks nice. Yes! You got it back. It's oh. perfect. No, you're gonna fall, Lucas. No. Good night. Okay, good night. Oh! Oh my god! Okay! <laughs> okay! No! No! Oh, you kept talking! Okay! Let's go! <laughs> he's, he's talking! He was talking! He was still talking even though the video was like, what is my PS4 doing here? Okay, let's talk about this, guys. So, he found his harp! My son be found in his harp! That is what matters! He found his harp, and he got the redemption arc! It's time to take on that birdie, to show him what it means! So it's like, you know what, you steal my harp, I'm gonna steal it right back! Because that is owned by my son, Lucas the Spider. But let's talk about this. Do you know how it is when you want to find that perfect place to sleep? Do you know how it is when you're all like, you know, I'm just gonna take Spongebob, and I'm gonna be like, okay, oh god, Lava Lamp Chan! Lava Lamp Chan knows how it is, I'm not gonna do that now, she almost fell. I'm gonna go over here now, maybe this is the better place to sleep. Yep, right here. You take, take a nice pillow, and just relax. Hold on, I'll be right back. Two hours later. Yeah, you get what I mean. But yeah, I mean, it's like, when you want to find, like, that perfect spot, it's so- Oh, jeez. Mr. Microphone- Now Mr. Microphone is falling asleep. Everyone's falling asleep here. Now, you know what? The thing is, is, like, you want to find, like, that perfect spot. There's always that sweet spot where you just want to lay down and go to cozy cozy off to, to dreamland and just go and go asleep. And, uh, that's why I like this video, because it's like, he was going in random places, but he got his heart back. That is what matters, folks! I mean, when you want to take something back that you own, and somebody thinks that they could just steal things from you- Oh ho ho! Oh! No! That's not gonna happen! So, it's, that's why I was like, that was a redemption arc, he was able to take his heart back. So I'm still looking forward to see if there's a Lucas the Spider versus the bird that thinks that he could uh, take the little uh, harp away from him. So, even though maybe maybe Lucas could sell these things, so maybe Lucas the Spider can actually create harps to sell to his fans. I, for one, would love one of those harps, Lucas. You got my support. You got mama's support. But yeah, I mean, when you want to take a nap and everything, naps are very important. In your life as is any type of form of rest. I mean some people like to skip off of naps thinking all I want to do is work. All I want to just do is work but you can't just continuously work because then your sleep schedule is going to get messed up and you know how that is guys. You know how that is. So with Lucas the Spider it's also teaching kids and also teaching us that we must take a moment for ourselves and find that perfect nap spot. I don't know where my perfect nap spot is. I'm not sure where it is. It could be randomly anywhere. I could just be like passed down on the floor and be like, <gasps> my ships. You know what ships I'm talking about. But yeah, I mean, the thing is too, I like, I like how it was like, how to present, you know, the first thing was with cats. Get it? Because cat naps. Get it? <sighs> I can't tell a joke, can I? I'm taking a nap now. But no, like cat naps. So that's why in the in the beginning he's like, I want to find the perfect nap. So there was cats there, cause cats take the naps, meaning the term cat nap. Get it? But and also catnip. But catnip does something completely different to cats. If you have cats, let me know. And if you give them catnip, tell me what they do. Because my my cats, uh, I feel as if they'll like drive away in a car. That's how crazy they get. Like they'd be stealing my family's car and be like, yo, I'm gonna go rob a bank now because I have my catnip. <laughs> I got the good stuff. You know what I'm saying here. But no, I, I love this one too, because again, it's like you wanna find that perfect nap spot. And Lucas the Spider, he found it within that little uh construction thing. Which I always like to say, those construction things. Things, you know, the big, I don't, I don't know, we even know what they're called, but you know, with construction workers and everything, what they use, their tools, I always say that they were inspired by dinosaurs. Why? Because guys, like, they look like freaking dinosaurs. Like, you got the, the long neck, you know, like, hey, how you doing? And, uh, and see, see, it just fell again. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There, stay. No, stay. I will verse you. I will destroy you. But yeah, it's like you got the scooper one that kind of looks like a long neck and it's like, hey, how you doing? And I'll be like, hey, I'm a T-Rex. And it's like, they kind of look like they were, you know, like construction worker things were actually inspired by dinosaurs, which I don't doubt because dinosaurs are awesome. Let me know if you guys like dinosaurs. I love them. I love them. But anyway, let's keep moving on. We're going to move on to Lucas the Spider, one man band. Well, yes, 
he can finally sing. He can finally show us his amazing talents. And as you know on Miss Cat Squad, I love supporting other creators to show off their amazing talents. So why don't we just start with Lucas the Spider and showcase- Oh my god. Yay. Oh my god. probably built all these himself. Yes. Oh my god, look at look at one of the drum. <laughs> Dance. That's right. Yeah, we we need to make a loose spider dance. Oh my god. My boy finally gets to perform! <laughs> Yes. Dude, dude, I love that. Ah! Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> From the beginning of when we started watching Lucas the Spider, we noticed that he wanted to be in a band. And now he is literally in a one man band here because he is living his dream. He is living his dream as the YouTuber who can create this music for us. And you know what? It's such positivity and such joy to be spread on this platform because you know that I just want to showcase as much as possible on Miss Cat Squad the great and um, the great amounts of pure positivity on the internet and Lucas the Spider fits in perfectly within our brand. But you know what? I love that. I <laughs> That was the, the one of the drum was like the only critique I have about these videos is I wish they would be longer I wish there was a Lucas the Spider movie I wish there was something more even a show or something because he is absolutely adorable and I'm still looking to get some Lucas merch I really want to get some Lucas merch to showcase it on Miss Cat Squad to show our support But I love that because it's like he, I, I feel as if he builds his own instruments like he has the harp that was adorable. As we know, he he's a harpist, but he also played like the violin and everything and how he was moving his hands it's like ah Oh, my son is just adorable. But what I love about this series is, again, it's pure positivity. But another thing, another thing about it is it teaches kids not to be afraid of spiders and that spiders help the world. And spiders are not, you know, like, as scary as we think they are. So the next time I see a spider and if that one is still outside, I'm going to wave to it and say, Hi, do you want to be in a one-man band? I will literally be like, you know, I love you. And I'm going to name it Penelope. That's right, folks. I'm going to name that spider Penelope. I don't know why I'm saying that. But yeah, I mean, this is the thing about Miss Cat Squad. We love spreading positivity on here, and we love reacting to things that are pure positivity, because everything that is on Miss Cat Squad, I want to make sure that it makes your guys' day, makes you guys check out new amazing videos, and also allows you to express yourself and your positivity, and spread that positivity. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Squad Reacts with Lucas and Spider, because I'm so glad I got to revisit this. And as always, Miss Cats, until the next video, embrace your fangirl and your fanboy every single day. Woo.